Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the module not found error, no module name utils in Python using VS Code. So here I have my basic Python program open in Visual Studio Code. We're just printing out hello world message. Now, as you can see, I included import utils package, but when I try to run my program with py launcher, and by the way, guys, of course, you can use Python command or Python 3 command to launch your Python program, but here I'm using the py launcher. So when I execute this command, I get this error, module not found error, no module named utils. This means that utils package or module is not installed in your Python project. To install utils or any other Python package, we're going to use pip. This is Python's package installer, which itself is a module as well. Now we're going to type install space and name of the package, which is utils in this case. Hit enter and Python will install utils package. And now if you run your Python program again, you can use Python or Python 3 command, but here I'm using py command to launch program.py. And as you can see, you no longer get the module not found error, no module named utils. There might be a case where you don't have pip installed, but you can't really install packages without pip. The easiest way to install pip is to get curl. To install curl on Windows, open your browser and go to curl.se slash windows. Now, once you get to the site, click on curl for 64 bit, right click on the file and go to open the folder where you have just downloaded curl package. Now, right click on the zip archive and click on extract here. Now rename the extracted folder to curl. Paste it under C drive under curl. I already have curl on my C drive. So you can go ahead and do that on your system, but also notice that there's a bin folder inside curl. We're going to copy and paste this address into environment variables. So go ahead and copy this address, go to your start button, start typing environment variables, click open, go to environment variables, and here at the bottom part of this window, just browse the variables and find and click on the variable name path. Now that it's selected, click the edit button, then click on the new button and add C curl by pasting it into this space. Now click on the new button again and in the same way, add C curl slash bin. Click OK and close environment variables. So now that we have curl, how to install pip? Go to your VS Code terminal and start typing curl space HTTPS slash slash bootstrap dot py pa dot io slash get dash pip dot py space dash o get dash pip dot py and hit enter. Running this curl command will install pip on your system. If you want to make sure that pip was installed, simply type pip dash dash version, hit enter, and the terminal on the command line is going to tell us the version of pip that we have. Now, if you're running your Python on Docker or Vagrant, you might still get the module not found error, no module named. So go to your start button and start typing environment variables. Go ahead and click on this open button. Next, click on the environment variables button. And in the upper part of the window here, click on the new button. Here, type Python path in all uppercase letters. In the next box, type the path to your Python project. In my case, it's C projects slash Python. Now click the OK button and close all of those windows. Now let's try writing this Python program in VS Code terminal again, and hopefully this time it will work. And as you can see, the message has been printed into the VS Code terminal on the command line. 